speaker is a third grade teacher, passionate about creativity, technology, and teaching to and from the heart. Let's have a big warm welcome for Jennifer Bond. To be irreplaceable, one must be different, the famous Coco Chanel. And I got this as a gift from my husband last year, and it spoke to me because I know that the most successful people out there have found their way to be different in this world. Yet, does our education system really show that that's what they're going for? With the ACT, SAT, and Common Core, they're forcing all children to conform to the same amount of standards. And I, as a third grade teacher, just have a hard time with not making people find their gifts. Just like Howard Thurman, I want the world to come alive. I want to find those things that make children passionate, and I know that I can do this. It's not going to be the Common Core that does this. But days like Innovation Day, where children have one day set aside for their own independent learning, whatever they want to do, from Legos to quilting to origami, children have control over the learning, and they come alive. They come alive with the Global Cardboard Challenge, made popular by Kane's Arcade where children can do anything they want to show their creativity with the simplest of tools. Cardboard, tape, and a lot of creativity and innovation, they come alive. With all of this passion that I've seen in my students, I've started to do a genius hour. It's off the 20% time that was made popular by a lot of companies, Google here in Ann Arbor, but also um, with Daniel Pink's Drive. Kids have one hour every week to do whatever they want to do. We call it goal time. Last year, the rainbow loom was the biggest craze. Kids came making bracelets, little animals, and a lot of different things with the rainbow loom. And I noticed that the rainbow loom hook looked a lot like a crochet hook. And I've always wanted to teach kids how to do crochet. So I said, bring in the crochet hooks, bring in the yarn, and I spent time showing them to crochet. They weren't good at it at first, but then they started watching YouTube videos, having crocheting play dates, and even grandparents got involved. Then one day, the rainbow looms turned into a hand spa where kids were doing massages. And then the next week, full out shoulder massages. I knew my principal would probably shut the goal time down if they saw that. So I said, sometimes spas offer products. They started making sugar scrub from simple ingredients, coconut oil, sugar, and oils. And they started a full out business in my classroom, selling their little sugar scrubs. We were integrating it into our Michigan economy lessons and it was a thriving business where they learned how to market their things. And most of this was done on their own time at home, making their own flyers, having bulletin boards, having websites, and even getting the other kids involved with jingle contest. This, um, at the end of the year, we had a paracord company and the T-Spa merge as Spa Cord, and we decided to do Maker Fair Detroit. We wanted to raise money for foster children, and $140 was raised when we attended Maker Fair. We were blessed to have the founder of the Maker Fair and Make Magazine, Dale Doherty, come to our booth and hang out. But we were able to show people how simple it is to make something so easy, but also share this genius hour passion time with others as they came through. This year in Brighton, I'm running an imagination chapter, a pilot program through the Imagination Foundation, where kids just get the time to play an hour and a half every week, coming to a multi-purpose room. I'm fostering 35 children in creative play. I'm giving them time to be inspired and have that time to imagine and build and play. And it's been an amazing, amazing experience for the last six weeks. Kids have been building forts and cardboard things, just painting with watercolor, playing with a makey-makey on the computer, and children have loved it, and parents have loved it too. Because to nurture t passion, all they want is that time. All they want is for me to find the gifts that are within each of them, just like I do with my students. Letting them explore through things and making it messy. That was my hallway at the Cardboard Challenge. My principal hated it, but it was fun. Super Sylvia's Maker Show on YouTube and Make Magazine are fabulous ways to inspire children and all of us to be makers. And the ever-loved Pinterest is one of the most creative ways to find anything. I have an obligation to shape the future, whether it's a little girl playing guitar in my classroom, maybe she'll turn out to be Kid Rock, or a teacher that likes to be in a classic rock band, and maybe Minecraft will turn into architects and engineers. 
We can shape the future. If you look into your passions, look into the passions of your children, make this world come alive, and embrace the passion and enjoy the adventures. Thank you.